Good day, listeners, and here is the next topic for today, which is using the primary auxiliary verb have and has. Uh, when we come to use uh, primary auxiliary verb have, has, we need to understand one thing. If the subject of the sentence happens to be I, we, you, or they, then we should use them together with have. But if the subject of the sentence happens to be he, she, or he, then we should not use have, we should use has. But let's take a look at the whole and see what we have here. Uh, usage, have and has. If it is personal pronoun, I, we, you, they, we use it together with have. Here are example sentences. <clears throat> I have a rubbers or I have erasers. Sorry, for the record, the word rubber, R-U-B-B-E-R, rubber, that is the, the, the yellow or sometimes red thing that is on the top part of a pencil. The thing we use to clean pencil writing or when we are trying, if we make a mistake. Some people used to wrongly say cleaner. Please, it is not cleaner. A cleaner is a person who cleans the tile, the glass, the window, the car, things like that, okay? Somebody who cleans the place, who sanitizes it. It's called a rubber, and that is British English word. In American English, they say eraser. Eraser, okay? Eraser. Yeah, well, so here we go again. Uh, usage, have and has. I have a rubbers, or I have erasers. Example two, we have a brand new car. We have a brand new car. Number three, you have an iron. You have an iron. And the last example is, you have three, three houses. houses. If you say, I has robbers, no, 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 it's wrong. And now moving to the final part on this side of the road, he has an electric car. He has an electric car. You should not say, he have an electric car. Second example, she has a cat called Pretty. She has a cat called Pretty. If you say she have, the grammar is wrong. The last example, it has a long tail. Correct. If you say it has a long tail, wrong. And now let's move to the other side of the board. Interrogative or question form. I have robbers. This is statement sentence. You want to change it? Just add two at the beginning of the sentence. Then you change the first time or period. You use question mark this time around. Mm -hmm. So the sentence changes from I have robbers. It changes to do I have robbers or do I have erasers? The second one, we have a brand new car. Now it changes to do we have a brand new car? Do we have a brand new car? Number three, we have a, sorry, yeah. You have an iron, then you see, do you have an iron? This is interrogative. And the last example, they have three houses. Changes to do they have three houses? Good. And now here, remember, I explained that if the subject of the sentence, that is the two of action in the sentence, happens to be that singular, he, she, or it, you should never use it together with had a half. You should say he has, she has, or it has. But in interrogative form, the moment you begin the sentence with just, that formality is no longer required. You should never use just at the beginning and then in front of the personal pronoun, he or she or it, and say, let me use has. No, 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 no. When you start your sentence with does, the verb that will follow after the, uh, the personal pronoun, he, she or it, should be have, not has. The first formality is no longer required. So here we go. Does he have an electric car? This sentence is correct. If you say, does he has an electric car? It's wrong. That's why I canceled it. Okay. Does and has, we don't use them together. Example two, does she have a cat called Britty? This example is correct. But if you say, does she has a cat called Pretty? The example is wrong. We do not use does and has together in the sentence. And the last example is, does it have a long tail? This is correct. But if you say, does it has a long tail, the sentence is wrong. wrong. Listeners, that's all for now. If you have a question, don't forget to send it to us.
we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Good luck in your English. That is bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Please subscribe. Love ya.